Software deployment through Software Center. So today we are going to look at how to deploy a software or application through Software Center. Hello everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, TechNex Solutions. So um, it is really easy if you have the MSI file and you can deploy that application to the users or to the computers, depends uh, what collection you have. We will have a look at different options soon. And you can make this um, application available or you make this required. Um, available means it will be available for the user and it's up to them uh, if they would like to install it or not. Or if you make it required, it means uh, software center which it will install that application on the end user devices or your corporate devices mm -hmm. so let's log on to our uh, sccm server so which is here and in here we will go to software library it's the place where we actually use and in software library um, under application management and in applications uh, we can create a new application so it's basically we right click and create a new application so in this example we are going to deploy 7-zip so you can go ahead and download msi file so whatever the version is available uh, at that time so at the moment it is 18.06 available so i will have uh, i will download this file uh, basically i already downloaded this file it sits in my downloads and you have to place this file somewhere where um, people have they have read access so what i'm going to do is i have copied this file i will go to seo one and i will browse to my applications share which i have created in the, one of the previous videos which is technex dco one applications so i will open that i will create a new folder i will name it 7zip and i will place my msi here okay so I will close this or I'll copy the path because we need the path to provide to our application. So on application, right click, create new application and Windows installer. So you have to browse to the path. I have recently copied that path and I'm going to provide that path here. And um, I will click on that and then I will select my 7-zip and then I will click next on it. So publisher MSI file could not be verified and I'm that's fine i will say yes and um, so basically click next so you can um, provide general information about it any comments publisher uh, maybe i will say seven zip and software version so that's about it installation program uh, if you use msi file it will uh, pre-fill this for you and if you like to change it you can put more information um, i think that would be more than enough and also, if you want to run installation program as 32-bit process on 64-bit clients, you can tick that box. If it is a 32-bit program, it is 64-bit program. And I have only one machine uh, in my test lab, which is 64-bit um, as well. So install for system. If resource is device, otherwise install for user. So I will say um, you can pick that or you can say install for system because 7-zip uh, it can be installed for system there are some programs applications you cannot install for system and i will say install for system if resources device or otherwise for user and i will go ahead and click next so this is the summary i'll click next and uh, basically it is finished okay so it is completed we can close so once we have created an application the next step is uh, update the distribution points with the content okay so right click on the application and we will go to distribute content and we are going to distribute this on our distribution point our content is this application click next and uh, this uh, content destination we will add it so we will uh, pick either you can pick distribution point group uh, if any available or you can go ahead with the distribution point okay so i have a distribution point on premises um, i will click ok and i will click on next and that's a summary next progress is done and close if you click on content status uh, you will see the progress of it so at the moment on the uh, right hand side you can see success zero in progress one so it is in progress and you can see here package id source version and date created all the information about that okay so let's go back all right, now the next part is deployment. So we are going to deploy this uh, onto maybe users or uh, computers. So this is up to us if you would like to deploy it to users, depends on the user collections or depends on the computer collection. So let's go to assets and compliance and a device collection. 
you can see I have at the moment we have only all desktops and server clients and all mobile devices and all systems so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new collection uh, you can right click on the blank space click on create a device collection so I will name it um, the Technex computers you can leave any comment if you like to leave any comment and limiting collection so it is a good idea if you like to limit the collection so I will limit the collection to all desktops and server clients only and I will click OK and then click next so membership rules if you like to add any membership rules we'll talk about those membership uh, membership rules maybe later so um, we will talk about these ones if you would like to deploy we will come back to these uh, membership rules later um, and then click next and it will say that uh, the collection has no membership rules it will con cannot contain any members so that's fine I click next and then close so we have a new collection here which is Technex computers so we'll go to devices and then this device PC-01 right click and add selected items add item to device collection and we have Technex computers here and I will click on um, OK so if I go to device collections now there you go it took about maybe 20 seconds and now I can see member count is one member available in Technex computers all right so now what we'll do is we'll go back to our software library applications and we can see our 7-zip here right click and we will deploy it click on deploy and software is this and browse to the collection so I will pick device collections and uh, out of this I will pick Technex computers click OK and automatically distribute content for dependencies this box is ticked which is fine and click next so the content so the content is available on distribution point as you can see that so click next deployment settings install purpose available and also you can make it required as well so I'm just going to make it available alright so allow end users to attempt to repair this application if that's possible you can tick that so it will allow them to repair it so I'm um, gonna uncheck that I click next scheduling so you can pick a schedule as well so when it's gonna be available so I will make sure that it's available just ASAP so I'll uncheck that next user experience so display in software center and only show notifications for computer restarts alright so or you can go with display in software center and show all notifications so I will just show them notifications if it needs a restart so right filter handling for Windows embedded devices so commit changes at deadline or during a maintenance window requires restart that option is ticked as well that is fine so with the alerts so I'm not picking any alert I'm leaving everything uh, unchecked here so let's go, go to next page and it will show you the whole summary and click next again so progress you'll see that it will say it has been deployed and you can click on close and at the same time let's have a look at the content status so you can see that it has uh, successfully been updated on the distribution point so our now so what we'll do is we'll go back to our windows client which is pc-01 and then we will have a look at that so PC-01 is running so I will log on to this alright so I'm logged into the computer as uh, administrator and I will open software center and we should see 7-zip available in software center okay so we have not received it yet so what you can do is I will quickly show you another way so open uh, command prompt and type in control SMS CFGRC and then click OK and then in actions so click on machine policy retrieval run now and OK and also you can run applications deploy deployment evaluation cycle click OK and OK so straight away you can see 7-zip is available here and it said is a new application and if you click on install I will show you what ha what happens in the background as well so if you open file explorer you go to the windows and then there's a folder called CCM cache if you open that you see nothing here so let's put it here and then also at the same time we will open another window in this PC local disk C we go to windows and then we go to CCM here and then logs so there are logs called um, app enforce okay the log is not generated yet because there's uh, nothing there 
it will generate that log once that uh, we will hit um, click on install so let's click on install and it will download the app and in CCM cache you will see that it will uh, download it and then also in the logs we should see app enforce there you go so that log file is generated if you double click on that and you can see the progress and how it actually installed and what happened in the background as well so use uh, CCM trace to read this log which is recommended and you can have this view as well so component uh, app enforce date and time you can see it here and you have got all this information as well let's just close this and let's just close this as well in CCM cache if you double click you'll see that file which we actually updated on the distribution point has been downloaded and then it is uh, installed um, let's have a look if you click on um, start menu and 7-zip file manager is just there so which is great and also at the same time if you would like to uninstall it uh, uninstall will uh, work as well you can click on uninstall and if you go to server I will show you the settings which has uh, the uninstallation function I have not restarted my configuration manager console and this is why uh, icon is not coming up here so let's go to software library and applications and you can see that here uh, right click on that and then go to properties or instead of going there go to deployment types and uh, you can see that it is windows installer msi file right click and click on properties and detection method you'll see the detection method is msi and we can see that programs so uninstall program and that's the msi it will use to uninstall the program as well okay so this is MSI even if you run this MSI on the device and then it will uninstall um, 7-zip. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our PC-01. So let's just run 7-zip uh, first and let's see if it works or not. There you go, it works right away. And to uninstall, you just click on uninstall. So it will remove 7-zip for us. There you go, straight away it has been removed and if you check the start menu, it's gone, it's vanished. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you feel like this is informative for you, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to show some support. See you in the next video.